Okay, hunters, does this cartridge look familiar to you? Kind of looks like a 270, maybe? I don't think so. There's the 270. <laughs> Quite a size difference. That should give you an idea. It's the 17 Hornady Magnum Rimfire, right? Not quite. There's the Hornady 17 Magnum Rimfire. What we have here in the middle is a whole new baby. It's Winchester's new 17 Winchester Super Magnum. And it stands alone in the field of rimfire cartridges. Hi, I'm Ron Spomer. As a rifles columnist for several hunting and shooting magazines, I get to see a lot of new cartridges. And the reason I'm so excited about this new 17 Winchester Super Magnum is because it's a rimfire that goes 3,000 feet per second. That's the fastest ever achieved in a rimfire, and it's pretty exciting. Let's look into it a little more deeply. So what's so super about Winchester 17 Super Magnum? In a word, performance. Look at this ballistics chart. 150 yards zero with the Hornady Magnum Rimfire, the 22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire, the 17 Winchester Super Magnum, and the old 22 Hornet Center Fire. 150 yards zero, everybody's dead on. Look what happens at 200 yards. 5.2 inches of drop coming from that 17 Hornaday. Only 11 inches of drop, <laughs> only, we used to think that, with the 22 Win Mag, but look at this. 2.6 inches of drop out of that 17 Winchester Super Magnum. That's why they call it Super. Even the 22 Hornet drops more, 4.4. So at 250 yards, it's even more striking. 15, yards, uh, 15 inches of drop with the Hornet and Magnum Rimfire, 30 inches with the 22 Mag, only 7.2 inches with that Winchester Super Magnum. Even the Hornet drops more than that. A flat trajectory is a wonderful thing, but it's not everything. You've got to worry about wind deflection and also retained energy downrange. Let's see how that Winchester Super Magnum performs. Look at here. Ballistics coefficients of the bullets. We've got an extremely high ballistics coefficient on that 17 Winchester Short Magnum's 20 grain bullet as compared to the other 17's and the 22 Winchester Magnum and even the 22 Hornet. And that's going to help in the differences we're going to see downrange in retained energy and reduced wind deflection. So here are the muzzle energies in foot-pounds of each cartridge. You can see that 17 WSM at 400 foot-pounds of energy is higher than either the 22 Win Mag or the 17 Hornaday. Not as high as the Hornet, but look what happens downrange. At 200 yards, we're retaining 185 foot-pounds of energy in that 17 Winchester, 222 in the Hornet, but we're beating out both the Hornaday 17 and the Winchester 22 Mag. Then look at the wind deflection. We're really winning with this 17 WSM and that 20 grain bullet. Only 7.8 inches of wind deflection with a right angle 10 mile an hour wind compared to 24 with the 22, 16 with the 17 Hornaday, and even 14 almost, 14 with that 22 Hornet. So the Winchester Super Magnum outperforms pretty much everybody in his class except for the energy with that 22 Hornet. But again, the Hornet's going to cost you a dollar a shot. This 17 WSM is only 30 cents a shot. The 17 Winchester Super Magnum promises to be quite accurate. Using a rough pre-production rifle, I shot these two groups outdoors at 100 yards off of a portable bench in variable winds, and they're both right at about one inch. How much powder does it take to drive this little 20 grain bullet 3,000 feet per second? <laughs> Not much. I opened one and pulled out 9.5 grains of this tiny, tiny, fine little ball powder. And the uh, 25 grain bullet, I got 8.5 grains of powder. So it doesn't take a lot and that's one of the reasons these things are so inexpensive. So how can Winchester call the 17 Rimfire a Super Magnum? Well, because it blows away all the competition. Really, this 17 Rimfire gives you the performance of a 22 Hornet Center Fire at two-thirds less cost. In my book, that's plenty of justification for calling it a 17 Winchester Super Magnum. The 17 Winchester Super Magnum, then, is the 22 Hornet in performance at two-thirds less cost. How can you beat that? For more information on shooting and all things outdoors, visit ronspomeroutdoors.com.